Okay, when you're about to set your shower pan, you want to have um, five, four or five buckets of water all the way to the top, just an inch or so below. Every inch you go down, it takes a lot less weight, so might as well use it all the way up as much as you can without spilling. So about an inch from the top, that gives you a lot of poundage. I think it's, uh, I think it's eight pounds per gallon or something like that. And so for five gallons, it's 40 gallons each, so it's a couple hundred pounds of water. And that's what you want to hold the foam down. If you're going to be foaming your floor like I'm about to do uh, with foam, then you want to uh, have a bunch of water to hold it down so it doesn't rise. Okay, anyway, so here's your shower pan. Depends on what kind you got. Everyone has different shower pans. So this one just happens to have a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, beehive, you know, honeycomb. It's not really honeycomb, but squares, but you get the point. It's a whole big, giant, uh, engineered thing to, to help it hold without anything else. Literally, if you set it on a flat level ground, like concrete or whatever, it would just be perfect. No, that's their theory. But the, since floors are always out of wax, some doesn't really pan out. My floor is almost perfect, but you can, over here in the far left corner, you top corner, you see one shim. That's that's that, that sits on um, the one the one point right there. That sits on that one point right there. So you can see the points on the uh, black paper. Um, I set it right on the point so I know exactly where it goes. And uh, then, uh, so that, now it's perfect. Now when I set this thing in there, I'll foam it, set it in there, and it'll be absolutely perfect. I did go around and put marks uh, when it was perfect and set it in there, dry, I dry fit it, you know? When I dry fit it, of course, I put marks everywhere. So I know where it's supposed to be at. Um, and I just want to all have a foam cure before I even uh, screw it to the wall. And uh, so anyway, it ain't going to be going anywhere once you put the foam in there. I mean, once you put the poundage of weight on there. So anyway, I'm going to uh, foam it. Now, when I foam it, you just kind of look at your shower pan, you know, and you know where you step in. You know, like you know, normally if you have a curtain, uh, you'd walk in on this side here, you know, because you're, you know, all your supplies over there. And so you'd walk in here because over here you got a toilet or whatever, you know, it's in the way. You can still do it. You just kind of step around it. It's kind of a pain. But if you uh, have a shower head that has a stopper on it, like me, I use a wand. And so I just grab the wand and turn the water on. And uh, then the, I point the cold water until it gets hot against the wall. So anyway, um, regardless, you want to have you want to have this floor um, dead and that's perfect. You don't have to waste foam. You can see like right here. I'm just saying here, this is like, you know, there's an inch and a half here and a whole bunch of voids here. These are valueless. There's just no reason to have any, a bunch of extra waste around here. Okay. Here you can see where the thing, the water goes through. We have a big hole. Okay. So we certainly don't want it there. That's valueless. It wouldn't do any good to have it around there. Uh, you just want to put it everywhere you're going to step and make that thing solid. So uh, I'm going to, I'll go ahead and put it down where I, where I think it should be. And uh, I've never failed me. And then I'll show you a video of that. And so you'll be able to know where to put your foam uh, to get the most bang for the buck. Okay. Okay. So that's going to give you the most bang for the buck. Just like that. You know, it's, it's where you step in both spots and then all where you're normally standing, taking your shower. Okay. And that'll make all these honeycombs uh, even stronger than they are now. All right. It'll hold it and it'll hold it all and go inside the voids and hold pressure up there. So it'll make it work perfect.